This poem is called Japanese Lady on a Lacquered Stand. The inspiration from this poem was a, a figurine that we had in my house growing up for many years, and I never knew where this, this statue came from. So I, I found her story through writing the poem. Japanese Lady on a Lacquered Stand. She is nameless, like the faraway snow caps of Fujisan, before winds tainted our notions of what we tell. For as long as memory has suffered the house, the Japanese doll remained in the living room, a fixture, boarded up in a glass display box, a relic of a story no one knew. All those years, only a small, the smallest granule of dust reached her. We never knew how she came to be. Most stories are lost in ebony hair, drawn tightly by the red cords of a straw hat. Maybe Uncle Herb, the carpet trader, smuggled her in the handleless trunk. Mother's college trip to California seems a more likely culprit. The Kodak slides projected on the blank wall one Christmas may have confirmed her interest in Japanese collectibles. Most probable is this. Father's exaggerated episodes of Navy adventures noosed their way into the tight knot of her hair. He liked to weave yarns about days spent in the Orient, though we know he never served in Japan, never saw the Silk Road or cherry blossoms dancing in front of Shinto shrines. He saw only Moroccan deserts and German Alps. Japan, like the ebony nuggets of truth, existed only in his mind. These unknowable silences strum in the folds of lost kimonos. In her miniature world, she poses with patient shyness, stuffed with dried stalks and costumed in amber silk and a beige sash. Black cranes dance in the folds of her dress, which falls to ankles clad in straw sandals. With a powdered face and brushed black eyes, she will never part her painted lips. Small crepe fingers, like long grains of rice, perpetually pluck three strings of a shamisen. Scrapbook mutations, silent movies, chronicles buried with the dead. We imagine she came to us from the deep, where silence is spoken and the bamboo boats of nostalgia struggle across a hopeless ocean. Giant waves pummeled her lonely vessel, but something akin to music escaped her tight lips, keeping away sea monsters with their giant teeth. Something akin to moonlight kept the straw dry in the thread of strings of her lair unbroken. Mm -hmm.